organization are you representing today, Anonymous? Anonymous, really. I'm here to support against the uh, against the pipeline, against pollution and the oil spills, and the one percent uh, gaining too much control. You know, slowly slipping their way step by step, while you don't even realize until they take over everything you have. They're creeping. Oh yes, exactly. Creep. They're creeping. And you know, it's all become more mental warfare now. Um, like that whole idea of you know keeping them distracted while they pass laws and things and not uh, letting the media show what's going on, like the media being a part of it. You know, like the predator drone thing. That the media doesn't talk about it. The, the predator drones killing innocent people and the fact that they're also going to be bringing them into the United States for surveillance. Drones have been sighted over Oakland. Have they? Yes. Yeah. So exactly. I'm. I'm I mean, they're, they're supposedly for, quote, peaceful purposes, unquote. Scientific yeah. research, photographing, stuff like that. Traffic control. It's an invasion of privacy. Completely. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, SFPD had drones. They can get funding from the Pentagon for this kind of stuff. Police departments can get that funding from the Pentagon. They yeah. don't have enough money. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. No, me uh, either. Do you have any thoughts about Bradley Manning? Is that on your roster? I would like it to be. Would you like to tell me about him? I, I don't know much about him. I can't tell if you're smiling or oh, right. what's yeah, going I'm on. I'm smiling. I always forget. That you're you anonymous yeah. and, and that's the way it's got to be. <laughs> would you like to explain Bradley Manning to this gentleman on camera? Um, he, he, um, he's uh, over there on the sign. He, he released a lot of the uh, stuff related to the problems in the military. He's a military person. Who, there was a lot of... Um, he was military intelligence. Uh, yeah. You know, things... What were they doing wrong? They have a lot Everything. Of, you know, torture, a lot of things they were doing wrong. And he, he released all that. The first video he released... Um, Gunners in the sky shot people, I believe it was in Iraq, on the ground, who were doing nothing. They just shot people because they... A lot of... Yeah. And, and he, Bradley Manning, was an intelligence guy, is an intelligence guy, who exposed this. He released it to WikiLeaks. They uh, got Bradley Manning and they, they kept him in jail with no charges for a thousand days. They tortured him. They made him sleep in the cold. Naked, they just really tortured him. No charges whatsoever. And now they're going to give him life in prison for releasing basically evidence of military, USA, and malfeasance on the part of many governments. Have you heard of Julian Assange? No. He's the guy running WikiLeaks, and he is now holed up in an embassy. Oh, in yes, yes. Okay. So Bradley Manning released all this information, video, all kinds of stuff, secret stuff that uh, was part of a military that nobody was supposed to know about, to WikiLeaks. And Julian Assange was one of the uh, people running WikiLeaks. And they're trying to draw a connection between the two of them. So that's who Bradley Manning is. He's, I think he's like 26 or something now. A young guy who did a, a very noble thing. And he's been in jail and prison and tortured and kept in prison without charges for a thousand days. So they're trying to give him life in prison. What do you think of this? Bradley Manning. Go check it out. That sounds like an outrage to me. I'm definitely going to go look this up when I get home. An anonymous has been very active in, uh, in supporting Bradley Manning. Right from the beginning of Anonymous. And you're wearing the mask, my yes, friend. Of course. So, and where are you from San Francisco or do you come from out of town? Uh, I'm not going to say exactly, but I came from out of town. Yeah, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, this is actually my first protest I've been to in person. I'm online and I'm very active against all this stuff. But okay. um, I was told about this happening yesterday and I was like, okay, I'm going. So. What? Why did you want to come? What was the compelling reason that brought you here? What was the issue? I was told uh, from the nokxl.org and Anonymous themselves of the pollution and the oil spills that they weren't cleaning up. This stuff really pisses me off, um, especially because, like I said earlier, the media just doesn't really cover this stuff. 
and the people should know. The media was put in place to, to keep the government in check, and now they're working for the government. Who do we have to put them in check? We have the internet. And then they try to censor our internet, which is our last place to start communicating a mass communication against this stuff. And if they get that, then how are we supposed to be able to you know, organize this stuff? How are we supposed to find out the truth? We can't. So those are some of the reasons why I'm here today. And I'm, here, I'm also here to represent uh, anonymous support against the XL pipeline. Did the fact that the president was going to be here, was that one of the compelling reasons oh. that brought you? You know what? I didn't even know that. That is a plus. I, like I said, I heard last night, I decided screw, I, I had class today, I skipped it for this, and I was like, let's go, I'm doing it. Okay, and, uh, um, and you're, you skipped a college class. Yeah, yeah, I told my teacher, she said it was okay, because I told her I was going to the protest, and I just went, so. So you informed your instructor that you were going to do this. Of course, I told her. And he was down with that, or yeah, she? Yeah, she said, um, as long as you do the work, then you can have an excused absence. So I was like, okay, cool, so that's my okay to go, so I came. Thumbs up to you, my friend. I'm glad you're here. Thank and you. Look up Bradley Manning. Bradley Manning. He's about your age or a little bit older than you, but you will, you'll get him. And they're trying to put him into prison for life and with no charges. This is such an atrocity and it's happened within our country's borders. So I applaud you for coming. Let me yes. shake your hand. Thank you. Show you my breast pass. Some of us are paying attention to this stuff.